Hello friends. Today's tutorial we will discuss about how to add material in engineering data. So this is the workbench. Just uh, choose a static structure. Now go to the engineering data. Now once you go inside the engineering data, there is engineering data source and there is a field engineering data. So go to the engineering data source. Now this type of dialog box will be appear. Now look here, there is one Granta design sample material. Scroll down, there is a general material. Then additive manufacturing material. There is a geomechanical material, composite material general nonlinear material, explicit material. So there are several materials. So you can choose any one. Suppose general material. Just click here. Now look here. This is the outline of the general material. So here the material which is come inside the general material is available here. So suppose this is the concrete, copper alloy, aluminum alloy, air, grey cast iron. Suppose I want to add a grey cast iron. Just this is the add button. Just click on the add button. Once you click, look at here. There is a symbol which indicates that this material is added. Look here. There is a symbol. Similarly like a structural stream. Now look at the properties of this grey cast iron. Click on grey cast iron. Now there is a density, tensile strength, tensile ultimate strength. Now next I want to add uh, titanium alloy. Just click on the add button. Now look there is a symbol which indicates this titanium alloy is added. Now go to the just cancel the engineering data. Now again go to the engineering data. Now look here. There are three material. One is predefined and this grey cast iron and titanium alloy which I have recently added. So by this process you can add the material. Just cancel it. One more thing inside the engineering data, how to add the new material. So just double click on engineering data. Now look here. Click here to add a new material. Just click here. Just write the name. New. Now, we need to specify some properties like uh, coefficient of friction, young modulus, and linear elasticity so we need to specify that suppose go to the linear elasticity this is the isotropic elasticity just click and drag it on the new now there is a one dialog box appear where you have to insert the elastic property just write down the value now look, there is a young modulus, poisons ratio, bulk modulus, shear modulus. So few things you have to describe. So let's uh, make the value of the Young's modulus. Now the poisons ratio value is uh, suppose uh, 0.1. Look at here in the new there is a question mark symbol means the specific data which is needed is not completed yet so after giving poisons ratio just enter now look here this question mark data is removed from here means this new material we added here is accurate the question mark symbol removes it means the Minimum specification or minimum requirements for generating a material is fulfilled. 
so from this you can add a new material or you can add your own material you can build your own material by doing this process so just uh, go to the engineering data source cancel it double click now you look, look here there are uh, four materials so in this process we can add the material that's all for today thank you